Right, we're back at the photography show 2014, and we've got Matt McGillicuddy, who is Damien McGillicuddy's lad. As, well, the younger, better looking version. The younger, better looking version of his dad. <laughs> <laughs> so you're here demonstrating on the Olympus stands. I am indeed, yes. And what are you showing off today? I I'm can showing see off the, uh, a the new toy in your the hands. Latest, uh, latest addition to the OMD range, the EM10. Right. Um, so I've been asked to sort of talk about the EM10 and, and talk about some of the features and how they're, they're beneficial to your photography in the real world. Okay, um, so. All right, well, the, the thing people are going to want to know about this is, where does it fit? Because we've just had, the EM5 now has been out for a while. It has, yeah. The EM1 has just come out and it is a has. deeply exciting looking camera. Where does this fit? Well, this is sort of the baby brother. Um, so lift it up for us a bit. The, the, this is the baby brother. So you've got the EM10, the EM5, and then the EM1. Um, but just because it's the baby brother doesn't mean it's not a capable tool. Um, it does really, it really does have its place in the range. Okay. Um, it's a nice addition. What features are we, are we sharing with, with the other cameras? Well, it's got a lot of the same features as the, uh, the EM5 and the EM1. Um, it's got the same menu system. It works in the same way, so it's a really easy menu system to use. Um, it's really easy to get along with. You've got the same electronic viewfinder as you've got in the EM5. You've got the image processor, the, the TruePix 7 um, that's in the EM1. Um, you've got the art filters. Um, you've got some of, the, some of the newer features as well in the OMD range that are in the EM1 that aren't in the EM5, like focus peaking, like color correction. Creator. And they're, they're, they're you know, features that I find to be really useful in the shooting that I do. Um, Absolutely. I mean, so what about the, um, on the EM5, you had this fantastic uh, uh, vibration reduction built yes. into the camera body. Have we got that? Yes, you've got three, uh, three axis image stabilization built into the camera. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, there, there are some other things that aren't, you know, that are, that are sort of unique to the, uh, the EM10. It's the smallest camera in the range, so slightly easier to, to right. move around. You can let's just, just hold it up for us and let's oh. see it in your hand. You can you can easily fit it into a jacket pocket, mm -hmm. um, and uh, you know with the, obviously the lenses on the Micro Four Third system being smaller as well, you can pop them in there as well. So it's great to have um, and carry around with you. I've been using it in the studio, um, doing the, the normal sort of work that you'd expect Team McGilly could to be doing, um, and I've been taking it out as a as a bit of a sort of a street photography camera um, and, and having it with me. It's been it's been a real sort of joy to carry around. It's not been cumbersome, not been getting in the way. I mean the, the other cameras in the range are small and nice to carry as well but this is that little bit smaller fits into a pocket a bit easier um, and, and you've got, you got some nice pancake lenses on the, uh -huh. on the Micro Four Thirds. What have you got on there now? This is the new uh, 14 to 42 um, Power Zoom, um, which is pretty cool. They've, they've shrunk down the, the existing 14 to 42. If I just turn the camera on, mm -hmm. you'll be able to see it uh -huh. um, pop out. Um, I have got the, uh, the special uh, lens cap at the front as well, which is the auto lens cap. Um, so that's that little silver bit there. Um, but it's, it's a really, uh, really nice bit of uh, a kit, the way that they sort of shrunk it down. Again, it just makes it a bit easier for carrying around I and mean, it's a good walk around lens this um, yeah. so again, I think I think all the micro four thirds are good for that carryability because yeah. the lenses are that much smaller yeah and uh, you, you can keep a couple of primes in your pocket you know if you really want to go primes all the way you can do it I mean certainly I, I, I prefer the prime lenses um, I'm a big fan of the 17 mm f 1.8 especially for sort of street photography wandering around and um, that sort of thing and it's it's you know it's nice and small easy to carry around but the important thing is there's no common Compromising the image quality as far as sort of you know I'm concerned because that's the main thing you know it's no good yeah. being all portable and nice to carry around if the images are sort of substandard. And, Absolutely, uh, you know, I've certainly not found them to, to be that at all. That they're actually very very impressive. Absolutely, and my, my recommendation for a lens is the 45 mil f1.8. Oh, definitely, if, you, if you're is, a micro four thirds user, regardless of oh, the, the you camera must that you're have using, that lens. It's a must have lens. It's yeah. absolutely super. Must have. All lens. right, thank you very much for that. Oh, oh, one much. question: where does yeah. it where does it fit price wise? Do you know the price on this? Um, it is it is the cheapest model in the range. Um, it's between 500 and 600 pounds, I, I do think. Um, right, well, presumably with, with various kit lens options, are there? Yeah, there are, there are obviously kit lens options um, available as well. I mean, the retail thing is, isn't really my uh, my sort of bag, but the, uh, the ISS team on the stand will be able to give you a more accurate. People can Google it. Yeah, that's <laughs> what the internet's for. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you very much for your time, Matt. Right. Thank you very much. Cheers, mate. Bye-bye. Cheers. Thank you. Photo Walkthrough is a free online video show about photography and digital photo editing using Photoshop and Lightroom. Join the Photo Walkthrough community, find all the old shows, and subscribe to the new ones for free at photowalkthrough.com.